bringing the people behind our food to life. I got my start at a restaurant I was cooking at called Rocket. It's a rooftop garden. I got really, really into it. So I split my time within the kitchen and the rooftop, fell in love with it. And then uh, they went out of business. And during that transition, I'm like, I need to find a plot of land. I need to grow my own food. That connection that I found uh, was like no other. I found a plot of land and decided to start marketing to fellow chefs that maybe I've worked with or restaurants I really, truly respect. And um, I still have the same restaurants that I've started with and I have great relationships with all of them. I only sell what I would use myself. This property in particular is about 5,000 square feet, you know, close to a quarter acre. Uh, I use as much as, as much as I can of it, um, a lot of intensive farming you know, interplanting um, into beds. I just keep turning over the beds as fast as I can. I think uh, my choice on produce also has to do with my, the size of the land. Lettuce, radishes, mustard greens, arugula, those are very fast turnover um, products. A micro is just a very tiny vegetable. I mean, depending on what it is, uh, a micro radish is you know, the first maybe five or six days of the, the radish's life. It's first set of leaves, it's very tiny. Micro carrots, same thing, they just got their orange pigment, very delicate and tiny. And same with the mustard greens or micro arugula. I discovered the micro radish just by thinning out radishes and uh, really taking a good look at them and tasting them and the flavor was awesome and they look beautiful. So uh, I started marketing them, gave out some samples to some chefs and that's all it took. The demand was on and uh, chefs loved them. Okay. Oh, here we go, the fun begins. It takes a long time to clean the micro radish in particular. I like to leave the root hair on the actual micro radish it would be a lot easier if I just took a bunch of them, cut it off, give them a little rinse, package them, done. But I think leaving it in its true form is what makes it so unique. It's nice when I have interns from like the Culinary Institute and they totally love the micros. They're like, wow, that's so cool. But after their first batch, they're like, they're not that cool anymore. <laughs> Too much work. Nobody else really does them because of the labor that goes on behind the scenes of thinning out every bed of radishes. I think the chefs like the fact that they really do truly look like a tiny little radish, especially with keeping that root hair on. It really does make the plate look amazing. I got involved with doing farm brunches because I just really needed to express myself. I was continuing to cook um, at other restaurants when I started the farm, and I just wanted to do my food. Gosh. Garlic scapes, asparagus, mustard greens from the farm, and pickled mustard seeds with cheddar and fried egg, basil and chard from the farm, and oyster mushrooms with poached egg and hollandaise. Is everybody here eating class? I'm lucky enough to have a okay. full-blown kitchen at uh, the original property of the farm. Yeah. That's awesome. What kind of cheese do you use today? I used aged cheddar. I did an experiment, just had my yeah. friends out for a couple brunches. So this is great, you should offer this to the community. So word got out slowly. Well, welcome to the Side Yard Farm. Um, my name is Stacy. Um, I've been here for about four years now and we've been doing Sunday brunches the last couple summers and they've been going well. Everything we do here is from scratch, everything. Uh, eggs from the chickens, uh, even the lemon, lemon verbena syrup um, is uh, the honey from my bees. I use ingredients from the farm in every dish. It just brings the community together. Nobody really knows each other. They're all forced to sit together at a family style, you know, seating. They get to try everything on the menu. It's just a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it. The community is very involved with all the urban farms around here. I get people walking by asking, hey, you need help today? I, that I've never met, that maybe live two blocks away. 
you know, neighbors coming by to farm brunches that are just really into eating a very fresh farm to table meal. It just feels like home, it feels like family, and it just feels good to be well supported by your community. You know, I, I try to offer a service chef to chef produce is what I call it. I just try to put a little creative spin on the things I grow as much as I can.